Rust has a number of uh, collection types besides uh, the ones we know. And the ones we know so far are uh, arrays, uh, vex, and uh, what else? We looked at tuples. And um, we're, we're going to look at um, vex a lot more because vex are super cool. And uh, we've only uh, scratched the surface for vex, but uh, we're also going to uh, first look at the uh, the other the other types, the uh, the main ones from the, uh, the standard library. And if you go into, uh, they're all inside this module called uh, STD Standard Collections, and you can see them there. And the first one we're going to look at is this uh, hash map and uh, B tree map. And um, they are uh, so a hash map is a uh, you put in a, uh, you insert these uh, keys and uh, values. So a key is like the uh, the the thing you use to look up uh, the value, and the value is the uh, the thing that belongs to it. So uh, you always see in the uh, <clears throat> in hashtag hash map signatures, you see like this uh, this K and V, and that stands for key and value. And the best way to look at one is to start making one. So uh, you can see it's in uh, you know standard collections and um, Rust uh, doesn't uh, doesn't import a lot of things. Uh, so it, it wants it, it prefers uh, having like a just a minimum. So like uh, vec is imported, you know string is imported. You don't have to write like uh, actually where is string? Let's see. You don't have to write standard string string when you want to use a string. You just say you know string. From but uh, for hash map, it uh, it won't uh, it won't let you uh, use one right away. So if you say like uh, I don't know, let uh, my hash map equals hash map new, you know something like that. You know you try to make a hash map, and it's going to say um, you know I don't know what this is, and uh, it says uh, try importing one of these. So okay, there it is. Use standard collections hash map. So that is what you do. So use standard collections hash map. And of course, you uh, if you don't want to import this, you can just write standard collections hash map every time, but this makes it uh, faster. So let's make a uh, hash map. We will start with a struct and we'll call it uh, a city. And uh, the name will be a string and the population will be the hash map. And inside there, it's going to have a U32 and a U32. And this will be a year and population. So it'll say like in 1900, this city had 50,000 people. So let's uh, let's add uh, Tallinn. Let mute Tallinn equals C, which is the capital of Estonia. Whoops, name. Tell in, you must make this a string uh, population, and we will make this a hash map new. And we just say new, and it knows what the type is, so that is that is fine because a city has a hash map of this type. And then uh, the way you insert. There's a, there's a really interesting way to insert, but here is the normal way. Uh, am I in hash map? No, I'm not. So insert. You see the methods here. Clear. And by the way, you might recognize this from VEC. Uh, you know, you start or with capacity, with capacity. And hash map has that too. Uh, so there you go. Insert is the is the normal way to insert, and you just insert. Uh, the uh, the key and the value, so we say Tallinn uh, insert, and we are going to uh, insert uh, these all this data for Tallinn. So in the year thirteen seventy two, it had three thousand two hundred fifty people, and here we are just doing this to make it readable. The underscore doesn't mean anything, uh, and then we'll let's see eighteen fifty one. It had twenty four thousand people. And in 2020, last year, it had 437,619. So Tallinn has gotten become quite big. And then, so forth, this is the uh, the K and the V, the key and the value. 
So we give them a name here, year population in talon dot population. So that will access this hash map. And this will show you one interesting thing about hash maps right away. In the year something something, the city of something had had a population of something. And we are of course going to say uh, in the year of year and the uh, the city of Tallinn dot name and then the population is uh, population and let's uh, print those out and let's see what uh, happened here That's right, tellin.population.insert because that is where the hash map is. We can't insert into a city. Population.insert. There we go. And there you go. You can see in the year 2020, and that says 1372, and that says 1851. So let's try that again and see what happens. And now it's a different order, 1851. So you can see that uh, hash maps don't, uh, when you print, you can print everything in a hash map, but it will come in a, in a random order. And uh, I'll show you in the next video uh, how to use a B-tree map, which is super easy. If you want to uh, have a hash map where you can, uh, it's basically a hash map, but it's, uh, it's, it's different. Uh, on the on the back but uh, the the biggest difference is that you can uh, you can order it